Hello everyone, how are you all? Uh, welcome to the class of information technology that is IT402. Uh, this is your IT teacher, Sumit Sadana. So in today's video, we'll be discussing about our unit 3 that is digital documentation, which we've already done uh, in our offline and online classes. Uh, so let's uh, have the discussion on digital documentation. What is digital documentation? Uh, as you can already see on your screen, this is unit 3. Uh, some introduction has been given to us. The first one they have written that uh, a document is a paper with the written contents and that is basically a document. The document is something which we can see as a tangible thing, right? Which, which we can touch, feel and uh, something is written there uh, on the paper. So that is known as a document and the process of preparing a document is called documentation. Uh, I'll be highlighting the same for you all, right? So that you could uh, see the definition here. Okay, so this is a document is a paper with the written contents and the process of preparing a document is called documentation. All right. And a documentation is required to preserve the contents for a longer period or to be used as evidence. So why they have written this? Just because, uh, suppose you want to, you have saved the document, you have prepared, preserved the documents, right? And you put it in the file, you store it in your Almira, and after five years, you can easily retrieve the data. You can easily see and without making much efforts, you just think where I have placed. So it will be in real Elmira, right? And uh, you just take it out the document and the document which you preserved five years back were there, right? And you can easily retrieve the data and they can be used for longer period. That is known as documentation. So the main motive of documentation is to preserve the content for the longer period so that you could use it in the near future. All right. So some sort of documents like the types, the kinds can be the letters, the reports, theses, manuscripts, legal documents, books, can be report cards and all, can be a test record, anything which you want to preserve. preserve right? So that will be uh, the, you know, that will be the documents. Okay, so next proceed further. So what is basically okay so here they have written something that the data entry operator should possess the skill to use the office productivity tools with a good typing speed so in the last lecture in the last video sorry last unit we had covered about our keyboarding skills and data entry skills right so there also the same thing was uh, discussed that data entry operator must have that skill to use the tools in a very productive manner so that uh, with a good typing speed so that you could uh, you know maintain the consistency of your uh, work so next is on the left hand side you just see the word processing word processing I told you word processing that whatever document you are writing or whatever document you are preparing okay that must be solely in either in MS Word, right, or in Notepad, or in WordPad, or somewhere in OpenOffice text document, or in LibreOffice document, okay. So here the word processing term has been given to us. The term word processing was invented by IBM in the late 1960s. By 1971, it was recognized by the New York Times as a buzzword, right. New York Times is the newspaper basically, right. And uh, uh, this was recognized as a buzzword. You can see that, that the link is already given to you from computer nostalgia.net articles is story of uh, the word processors.htm is a link. You just copy paste it in your browser. You will be able to see that the New York Times, the screenshot, it was there, right? So word processing basically is the use of computer software right so word processing is the use of computer software to enter edit format store retrieve and print the document 
so there are many types of word processors uh, as i told you earlier also uh, like open office notepad wordpad these all are the word processors like word processing softwares or the tools which helps us in entering editing formatting storing retrieving and printing the document or the data whatever we are writing okay so we'll be soon doing it live here right uh, as a practice module so the document can be a letter and I told you that also a document can be a letter notice report business correspondence etc so here the word processor is a computer application which is used for the production of printable material i told you that we have to you know the uh, word processor is basically the computer application or you can say the tools which helps us in the production of printable material or we can say that we can take out the uh, content whatever we have written in the word processor tool uh, as a printouts okay as a hard copy so there are uh, several limitations to okay okay the, the the typewriter is basically example which has been taken here right so let's talk about digital documentation and the documents which are prepared with the help of typewriters so we'll be comparing it now with the old traditional method with the new one new one is your digital documents means the documents are prepared in computers right in word processors and the documents which were prepared uh, in typewriters okay so in typewriter you can see on your screen several limitations were there while preparing the document on a typewriter the first one is in case of any typing error the whole sheet is required to be typed again as you know that because we are injecting we are putting inside the that sheet in the paper roll here the head is there of the typewriter as you can see that right we have to inject it from here right and these are all the keys and this is known as a small hammer when we press any key the corresponding hammer used to like you know hit on the page and behind the page the ink is there right so that is the whole process so the first limitation is in case of any error you have to type the page again the whole sheet again you cannot erase it second to send the same letter to two or more persons so you cannot send that because you have to type it again and again in the multiple times you have to type but in computer you just typed once right you see the errors uh, if it is okay do the proofreading if it is okay just send to n number of people at the same time uh, via emails and all okay next is typewriter does not have the required characters or symbols only the alphabets and the numbers that's it and some basic symbols plus minus and all not more than that at the rate was not there right uh, hashtag hash key dollar euro all the keys at the rate uh, asterisk right though so these are the special symbols which are not present there so next it is not possible to produce a document in desired format using a typewriter so you cannot uh, you know produce the document in the desired format suppose you want to produce or prepare the document in excel or you want to produce uh, the document in the form of uh, tables or in the form of simple paragraph and all right but with some formatting and all formatting in the sense bold italic any color thing color you want to apply uh, something like that so you cannot do that you cannot put numbering there right bullets you cannot uh, make or create graphical representations cannot be added there so these all are the limitations basically so in the 1974 xerox company had introduced an electronic typewriter so it, that, that that was a normal typewriter so now electronic typewriter in the year 1974 was introduced by xerox company right and uh, they attempted to solve those problems which were earlier creating a limitation for a normal typewriter and uh, like uh, we'll be discussing it here uh, down or oh, let me scroll down for you yeah here some of the features right uh, which are listed here
uh, these are the uh, features right uh, first one is you can create edit save retrieve and print the document in the new typewriter digital typewriter which was introduced by xerox company and now you can select and move the text from one place to another in the document uh, next one is you can copy the text to other places within the document and the next one move or copy a selected text from one document to any other document by taking it in a, any digital media you can change the font size font style of the text you can format the paragraphs too as well as the pages you can check the spelling and grammar you can create tables also as i was telling you in the desired formats and all uh, you can modify the size of the selected rows columns also combine one or more document you can combine also you can insert the images graphical representation also and you can print the selected text okay so these all were uh, the limitations which were there earlier in the normal typewriter but now you can do it uh, at the time at that time in 1974 basically so you are easily able to do all the things in the digital typewriter so let me show you the visibility of that yeah so the modern word processors take uh, advantage of gui that is graphical user interface providing some form of what you see is what you get editing this means the special effects on text are also visible on the screen so before i and just yeah so in the electronic typewriter basically i want to tell you the dimensions and all the 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 uh, the face of typewriter so it is possible to make changes in the content make multiple copies of but has a limitation of very small size screen to display the contents the, this was the limitation in the electronic typewriter because very small screen was introduced because that was the first time they were introducing any screen in a typewriter i wonder whether you have uh, uh, like have a site to that normal typewriter you just see it search it online also the digital electronic typewriter with small screen so its screen can view only one or two lines so as you can see we can do whatever you want to do in a computer right in a word processor but with very much limitations right we were restricted because the screen size is too less as small and we can only see one or two lines at a time so with the development they improved a lot in the digital electronic typewriters also right and i have discussed with you regarding the limitations which are overcome so now uh, they have given us one software that is liber office which is uh, sort of you know Uh, like open office right so we'll be doing that now you just see to it uh, liber office write a word processor so i told you that we have many types of word processors like open office liber office right we have or uh, different types of uh, ms office also is there right sun java office is there or apache is there right many are there but Uh, here with the help of liber office writer we'll be discussing okay so let's see it what they have given us to practice okay let's see on the left side i don't want to miss anything web based uh, word processors google docs in google docs we have three things that is google sheet google word that is google doc document and google presentation uh, another one is office 365 word Office 365 is basically the online version of Microsoft Office, which is also known as Office 2013. Okay, so in Office Microsoft Office 2013, or you can say Microsoft Office 365, is an online version which is working online. That's why they have covered this in web-based word processor. Next one is Microsoft OneDrive Word. So, likewise. like others which are web based word processor microsoft another version is a microsoft one drive word is also there you can see to it all right uh, next is your okay so they told us that what kind of uh, what you will be writing in a 
you know libre office so they have given us one task to write a report let us prepare the report in libre office writer right the presentation of the final report should be as shown in the following report the presentation does not mean you have to create a presentation ppt and all that presentation means uh, how this report will look like so uh, this is basically given to us right so we'll be doing it right we'll be um, opening the libre office side by side and we'll be i'll be showing you how you can format it you can write it okay just see to it okay so you can see that uh, report let me open for you that application so this is the application right will be uh, uh using for making the report which they told us so these are all the layouts right you can increase the size here let me increase the size uh what is written report then report is center line so let me make you in a center line this is the option uh, right uh, let me make you familiar this is the title bar right and uh, the second one is the menu bar you can see that uh, these all are the menus okay and uh, this is a standard uh, toolbar right this is the whole toolbar and uh, below that we have a formatting toolbar according to the requirement okay this formatting toolbar is on the right side also as a properties pane right so you can cross it any time you can take it or uh, you can take it back any time okay so let us write the report so report as in report right so i will select it with the help of uh, the you can make it bold it and uh, just click on the center it comes in the center and press enter okay next is field visit to it job fair so as i'm already down to that uh field visit to it job fair okay so this was very easy right but here you can see in the report word we have underlined the report is underlined so i'll select it and i'll make it underlined okay clear and uh, some sort of okay after the field visit to it job fair uh, we'll be writing i'll be writing one paragraph only for you how to you can how you can you know um what do we say format it how do you can write how you can write it so we visited the it job fair so let me make press enter button so it's already in the center because symmetry is going on so coming in the center only so we have to take it to the left line okay and how you can take it the word to be taken in the center alignment is with the help of control e or you can go here directly but you want to make it on the left side that will be with the control l you want to make it on the right side that will be with the control r let me show you i am pressing control l the cursor moves directly to extreme left so now i want to make it to the right control r extremely to the right side can you see right the cursor is blinking so left so let me write uh, we visited the it job fair we visited the it job job fair right Two thousand eighteen held at two thousand eighteen held at Kasturi Ba Kasturi Chand. Sorry, Kasturi Chand Park Park Nagpur. So just see here. it's already coming in the bold because it was already selected so let me uh, make it unbold and after that nagpur right and uh, on 5th july on 5th july
we got to know about the it sector we we got to know about the it sector it sector uh, in depth right so this was it let me tell you how you can format it so first see a uh, report is in bold and underlined field visit to it job fair is also in bold but not in underlined mode we visited the job and the kasturi chand park nagpur is in bold so let me select kasturi chand park nagpur is in bold i am pressing control b so it straight away makes it bold and is in italic you can see a slight the word is in the right side so make it in the italics right so next next paragraph so i'll be pressing enter the information technology and information technology enabled services the mission technology and and information technology enable services uh sector is a bracket it its bracket it yes sector is a field which is undergoing is a field which is under going rapid evolution and is changing the shape of and is changing the shape of indian business standards indian all right that's it uh, i won't write much uh that's it so uh this whole word is in bold right so i'll be selecting it information technology and making it bold and italics right then provision i is in capital and i can see that okay so this was it uh, rest you can see just practice for this okay now is the table which has come here so let me show you how you can prepare a table basically so what you will be doing after pressing in enter uh, you can see here on the standard toolbar right you are having a table here or you either you press control f12 or press this so now to my one was the next is job task i'll be copy pasting it right because it will take much time and the next is education and experience okay so i'll making it bold and this one making it bold okay now you want to insert a new row here do not go to the table again just press tab button one tab the row will be inserted simply and after that you can just press one and space you just start oh it's not working the keyboard What is happening yeah prepare compile and sort just copy paste it right i am just copy pasting but you can uh, write it right i told you the way to insert the table so just press and enter will be second enter will be third press enter will be fourth press enter will be the fifth point so on come here one plus then enter 2 3 4 5 okay 
So press enter and it will be done according to your requirement. Okay. So next is your uh, one thing I want to uh, discuss with you all. Suppose you want to select this word visited. So what do you used to do? You just press, uh, uh, take the cursor here and just uh, drag it. Right. The shortcut is you double click on any word and the whole word will be selected. Okay. And if you click once, the cursor will move from one location to another wherever you have clicked. If you visited twice, if you so double clicked it, or if you clicked twice, the word will be selected. Or if you click three times, the whole sentence or the line will be selected. Okay. Whole sentence I told you with full stop and all. Okay. With full stop. With full stop. Can you see that? Three sentences were there and uh, you just press three times, the whole sentence got selected. <coughs> okay. And if you press for four times, the whole paragraph will be selected. Can you see that? Okay. So four times I have selected. So the whole paragraph has uh, selected. So this was it, the working of LibreOffice Writer. So they told us how to open it. So just go to start window button, LibreOffice, LibreOffice Writer, open it and it will be done. Okay. So they have given you the Linux uh, version also. Linux is another operating system which helps you opening that again. So now they told us create a new text document by using file menu, new text document. So I'll go to file menu. This is a file menu, new text document. Okay. So by pressing control N, I am able to create a new document. Okay. Next is your saving. So let me show you how to save it because we have done some work here. So either you go file and press save or you just press control S. It will ask to save somewhere, right? Ask for the location. So save it. Uh, I'll be saving it in D drive. Okay and saving it here by creating a form a folder class ninth practice okay here i'll be giving ninth practice unit 3 okay digital digital documentation okay so save it and the format is dot odt odt that is odf text document okay save it so it is saved you can see that the name has been changed from ninth practice to ninth practice unit 3 digital documentation okay so these all are the steps which i am doing it for you or if you want to close the document you just simply go to file and control q or either you press alt f4 or you press control Q, right? It is up to you. You want to opt whatever shortcut you want to uh, use it. Or if you want to open the existing, so simply control O. So while pressing control O, window will appear which tells you to open. Open which file? This one. Double click. It's already open. That's why no change was there. Okay. So next is to save a file, I told you to save a file with password. Okay. To save a file with password because we have already saved. So now we'll be saving it as somewhere. Okay. So this is two and you can see save with password. I pressed OK, save with password, save and it will ask for to enter a password to open. So I am just typing. QWERTY, Q W E R T Y 1 2 is the password. I am confirming Q W E R T Y 1 2 and more option is also there. Enter password to allow editing or confirm editing. This won't, uh, will won't do that. Only just to make the file more encrypted form. Press OK. So the password uh, is uh, set, right? So I am closing it. So I'll open it again by going to D drive because we have saved it in D drive and the new folder. Uh, this was the file and uh, two 
I'll open it. It will ask for the password here. Okay, so my password was Q W E R T Y one two and press enter. So now the file is opened with the password. Successful attempt of password. Okay. So next uh, with this you can save the um, your uh, document safely. Okay. So title bar I told you that the name will be given here. So this is the menu bar. This is the standard toolbar. This is basically the formatting bar. Left scroll bar. You know that you can zoom in, right? You can zoom in from here. Okay, zoom out, zoom in. This is the status bar. You can easily see the insert button is enabled. If I press insert, it will go over, right? This is the default page style. It will come here. You can change the color and all from these. Next is menu bar. I told you, <coughs> sorry, toolbars, standard toolbar, formatting toolbar, status, scroll, zoom, text cursor movement. Okay, text cursor movement. We are having four arrow keys here, which helps us in you know um, navigating our cursor throughout the document from one place to another. Right. So next is um, okay. Suppose this control home control end uh, let me tell you some shortcuts here suppose i am in the middle of something in a line i am at knowledgeable word okay so i want to come directly to the first word of this like from the starting of this line on matlab before this o i want to come here so what i'll do i'll just simply press home button on your keyboard press home Here you go. You got the cursor here. Suppose I want to come at the left. That means at the end of this uh, um, a line. So I'll press end button. End button. The cursor came here. Okay. Or suppose you want to come directly at the report. Means at the starting of this. So I'll be pressing Control Home. Okay. So I came directly at the first letter of the document. If I want to go to the last, then Control End. Okay, so let me see Control and and where we we see here the cursor is moving. Can you see that this one? The cursor came at the end, very extreme end. Okay, so this was uh, this was the thing, and now is the mouse pointer. Uh, just see this. You can see the mouse pointer. It's a arrow, means you are able to select it, but If I'll come to oh, when I'll hover the mouse over any of that text document, the cursor immediately got changed to I. That means in the inserting mode. Can you see that in the I? That is in inserting cursor mode. Okay. So next is your uh, practice. They told you open the LibreOffice Writer, field visit again. Just write it. Uh, save the document as activity one in your folder. Close the document. That's it. Okay. So this is what uh, they told you to do it. Now is undone and redo, or that undo and redo. Undo is basically undone. Redo is redone. So what to do? Uh, suppose what I was doing. Let me delete the fifth point and delete the fifth point. So I just want to the. I want these five. Uh, these fourth and fifth point to come back. So what I'll do? I'll just simply press Control Z. The fourth will come. Then the dot. Then five. Then the dot. Okay. Suppose I want to again delete this. Means whatever step I have performed in the before the undo button, before applying undo, that will come. So Control Y. That is redone. Again, whatever you have done, just redone it. Okay. Whatever you have undone. Just undo it. Okay, so this was undone. Now is redone means the first step, the very first step that was fourth and fifth point was deleted. I am pressing Control Y. Okay, so it is done. Next is copy, cut, copy, paste. So cut, copy, paste is basically you can do that. Uh, let me just make it again. Suppose I want to copy these. Uh, this phrase, right? So I'll just do one thing. I am just I want to apply copy and paste here. So I'll 
be selecting the text first then i'll press ctrl c or you can right click it and press copy and after that wherever you want to paste it uh, click on that cursor and press ctrl v okay uh, the phrase or whatever you have selected will come here next is your or uh, this one cut paste so you want to cut this indian and i'll select it i am cutting it with the help of control x so it got cut business standards of i want to write here indian so i'll paste it control v so and i'll delete okay so this is copy paste cut copy paste these three things now is selecting the text so how you can select the text i told you selection with a single click you just move the pointer mouse pointer from one place to another double click to select the word triple click to select the whole phrase or sentence four time click or quadruple time click you will select the whole document okay or if you press control a the whole document will be selected okay now is non consecutive items suppose you want to select uh, this information only first this word then business then kasturchan so what i'll be doing i'll pressing control key i'm keep on pressing the holding the control key on and uh, double click on kasturchan then double click on information then double click on business its visited information evolution task responsibilities and the whole education and experience three times i'll press so these are all the non consecutive items which i have copied with the help of control key okay so that's it for this video um uh, i hope you understood it well uh, in the next video we'll be covering our next chapter right um stay tuned for the next video okay